my dearest friend. Kisses. It has been far too long. Far too long. How have you been? Good. Good. Yeah. Me? I've been walking with the divine light of God. He's directed my path and allowed my footing to find its proper place. Yeah. Have you by chance had any commune with the Lord? You're into psychedelics? The Lord does not appreciate psychedelics. Okay, um, I get that you say that in the Bible. Um, it says that the Lord gave of all of the earth and nature, greenery and anything that walks on it, anything that grows on it as, you know, to be used by mankind. But he also says here in Psalm um, chapter 139 verse 20,000, opening up your mind is really bad. Um, so we just should not allow ourselves to blow our consciousness too far out because we could enter the dimension of God. You entered the dimension of God. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I think you might have seen Lucifer. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to be disrespectful of your beliefs, but we really have to be careful with making sure that our lives are righteous and following the right path. Otherwise, we might sway into temptation and not make it into the heavenly circle with the Lord himself, our Lord and Savior. He died for our sins, you know? You don't believe in sins. Um, so then what do you call things, bad things that people do? Bad things that people do? Well, I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of proselytization. You'd mind? That's a little bit intolerant. Um, so I'm going to do a little proselytization and just guide you in the direct light of God. Yeah. I mean, if you don't listen to me, that is you being quite intolerant of my faith and I, I just feel so rejected and persecuted for my beliefs. I mean, they mean so much to me. It's not like I believe in any of these false religions like Islam, Judaism, Jainism, Hinduism, Buddhism. I believe in the, in the correct faith. So, I mean, to be persecuted for following the correct path, the only path, the path that if anyone else doesn't follow that one, they will meet a destructive end with no retribution. For they are a, um, a, her a heretic at worst, if not a infidel at best. It just makes me feel like our friendship's a little bit tainted. Anyways, let me guide you away from sin real quick. I know you don't want me to I know you don't want me to give you like all of this. Um anyways, chapter six, verse seven of Hoseas. It says Follow the Lord and do everything he tells you to do at all times through the mouths of of men who tell you the best way to live your life at all times, and if you're a woman just um, monkey see, monkey do, um, be seen but not heard. Do you see how you're messing up already? Yeah. How's your love life going, doing? Still, no marriage, no man. There, there. There, there, child. You'll be chosen soon. You will be chosen. And when you are, you are going to enjoy the headship so much. The blind submission and obedience to a man who gets to rule your life like an unpaid employee. I mean, my goodness, it's like I haven't felt this level of satisfaction ever since I worked a minimum wage job and had to be pushed into pushing credit card memberships onto the people. And I received absolutely no compensation for it. It's like I enjoy it even more because I'm paid absolutely nothing now for all of the work that I do. And I love the work that I do. I was actually sick last week. My entire family was sick last week. And I had the privilege 
of taking care of my husband while he was sick in bed, while I was also sick, and getting up and having to take care of our sick child all by myself. It was such a blessing because it reminded me that I get to be a reproducer and get to lie with the reproductor. It's like I have been used. I, I have finally achieved the pinnacle. I'm a printer. Now, let me tell you how you can live your best and happiest life. In Joshua chapter 15, actually, you know something? Give me one little moment. One teeny tiny moment. Don't move. Don't move. I'm trying to save your I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save your life. I know you don't want me to save your life, but this is me saving your life, okay? Like, if I don't do this, I'm just gonna have to like watch you just live your life the way you want to. And I can't have that. This is the best for you, but unfortunately, I have basically presented myself before the Lord without humility. So I must make sure that I am not showing my head to the Lord, for then I have headship. So I have to remain humble and sheltered, covered up, so that way he knows that I am not arrogant that way. I, I am not I am not trying to usurp my 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 husband's position it's like i i i didn't i have i have xx chromosomes i don't have xy chromosomes so consequently i cannot ask why i am in this position all i can do is just put two x's over my eyes roll over and die as someone else takes the leadership position in my life it's the only way it's the only way yeah it's just biology it's how God made us. Here in, in Exodus 22, verse 30 gajillion, it says, If you enjoy your life on your own terms, and you do not harm anyone nor yourself, you know you are walking the path of Satan. For a life with pleasure is a life without God. Yeah. Did you? Did you catch that? So it's so silly. You're so silly. You're so silly. Listen, it's not a D&D club, okay? It's not a Sims fandom, okay? This is the Bible. It's not a book club. It's the Bible. Yeah. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible is saying it. The the Bible. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. It's not me. It's the Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. No, I'm not brainwashed. I chose the Bible. I chose the Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. It is the Bible. The Bible tells me what to do. The Bible. It's the Bible. It's not me. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. Anyways. So, calling it a little science fiction club is a little bit disrespectful because we're not like science fiction clubs. They're false, unlike us. Okay, calling us or comparing us to any other religion is very disrespectful. Okay, I get that you say that you're, you know, you respect all religions, but all, most religions do not deserve respect. Only the true faith deserves respect, which is mine, the one that I'm in. The one that I'm in and the way, the way that I read the Bible. I am so, I'm so sorry. The way that the men in my life read the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Bible. So, we must be humble enough to recognize that you need to listen to me right now and save yourself 
by listening by proxy to my husband who listens to other men, who listens to other men, who listens to other men, who have position in society to be telling everyone else how to live their life and making money off of telling everyone else to live their life a certain way. Um, because you know it's coming from an honest place when people are making money off of it. It's just the way things are. Oh, so you're just not going to listen to me? You're just going to keep doing whatever you want? You're a bad association. You're a bad friend. You're a bad person. You're going to lead me astray. You're going to cause my death in the afterlife. You're going to cause me to suffer in the afterlife. You're going to corrupt my life right now. I cannot associate with you anymore. I'm so sorry you brought this upon yourself. I've given you chance after chance after chance after chance to change your mind, redeem yourself, and become like me. But you have chosen to just retain your own autonomy, like Satan, like Lucifer, the fallen angel. So I am, with all the pain of my heart, I must, I must do as Jesus do. Get back behind me, Lucifer. I cannot let you tempt me.